Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. It's Stephen Williams, founder and president of TheCreditRepairShop.com. I want to make this quick video about Real ID Incorporated. I know you've probably heard some stuff about Real ID, uh, the, the service where they were, you know, saying that they were going to uh, get everyone in the United States under this system of having this quote unquote Real ID. Well, let me tell you one of the services that the Real ID services company provides and they provide it to landlords across the uh, country and what uh, brought it to my attention to make this video today which I think is very important and you might be experiencing this if you've ever had a uh, uh, where you were uh, evicted from a property and your information was placed as a public record where they had a judgment against you or even just where they were uh, had an eviction. Well, that information is not usually maintained on your credit reports unless it's with a large company. But if you were with medium size and uh, regular uh, management companies or landlords, uh, you know that have individual properties, they may not want to pay the fee to have it added on your credit reports, but what they're doing now and the landlords uh, are being marketed to to go to this service uh, that Real ID Inc. is providing. And what they do is this is where landlords can just search on your name and they'll pull up if you've been evicted and they will show the case number. But there is a problem that I'm seeing when we are working with customers. And this is one that uh, I was reviewing today when my uh, customer service team brought it to my attention is that regardless of anyone, any company that sets themselves up as a, uh, as a bureau, which is where uh, private companies or even public companies can check the information that is considered a credit report, even though it's not quote unquote, like Experian, Equifax, TransUnion or LexisNexis, it's still considered a, credit reports so they uh, they have to abide by the standards that are um, placed in the Fair Credit Reporting Act laws. And something that I found while reviewing this paperwork here was it says here that the results of the search was only by name and it was only a name match, no social security match or no matching address on file. So this would be an inaccurate listing because there's plenty of people, and this is a, a very common name of this individual. Uh, it, this could be uh, considered inaccurate, even if it is uh, a, a case that did happen, but it must be accurately reported. And when they pull data from a database, they must get all of that information because if you have people that have similar names, even if it just said that the name was similar and the no matching SS social security number and an address was matching, that's still not enough. You have to have all of the information to say that an individual is that individual. And it even states it on the paperwork that uh, the landlord would get. It states that, that they should check more details about the individual before making a decision on renting to them or not, because all they're doing is just searching, uh, pulling up the data by name. Now, they did have a little trick that they try to play. When you dispute with them, they're trying to get the additional information that they don't have. So if you're gonna dispute with the Real, Real ID company, uh, and uh, you have to be careful not to provide them the information that they're missing because what are they going to do if you provide them your social security number and your address what are they going to do they're going to input that into there and then they're going to say that they had a match all the way across the board so be very careful what you should do is when you dispute to real id is that you decline to place to give them your social security number you decline to give them your date of birth you decline to give them a copy of your driver's license because if they're making these statements about you they're they're supposed to do their due diligence and have that information 
because they're providing that to a company that is making a credit decision on you without having complete information and that is against the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So I wanted to uh, make you aware of that and, uh, and uh, because this is something that can affect a lot of people and regardless if something is true or not, it still must be 100% accurate on your credit reports or with any other company that is allowing companies to pull information and data from them to make credit decisions. So this is Stephen Williams closing out on this video. If you need help with your credit, please visit thecreditrepairshop.com. If you need your credit reports and scores, please visit your, the number three, scores.com. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please post your comments and questions. I will get to them. And thank you. And until next time.